Hey everyone, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be giving you 25 players, a 25 man European size squad of players who are available on a free transfer at the beginning of Championship Manager 0102 original database. So if you're thinking of starting a game as a team that's hard up, or if you just like being thrifty, here I'll have two full 11s, a goalie and then 442 of players on a free and then a few more just to bulk it up to 25 to make it a nice number. I'm going to give every player as we go along a 1 to 5 boot rating of difficulty to sign. 5 being the most difficult to sign. Very tricky to sign. You have to be a pretty good team to get them. 1 being the easiest will go to pretty much anybody even if you offer them a youth contract. So with that all explained let's crack on. First up our goalie. You may have seen him before, it's Lobjo Kovicevic. He's young, he's only 22, but he's already a pretty good goalie. Probably wouldn't be walking into the first team of top, top clubs, but won't do, won't do you wrong. With two boots out of a five difficulty to sign rating, I would recommend if you're a really small team, giving him the promise of first team football, or you may get nicked by a bigger team. Now, let's move to defence. First up, our left back will be Agostino. He's Portuguese, defender slash attacking midfielder left. He's got it all. He's fast. He can dribble. Maybe he would be better as a winger or wing back than a full out defender as his tackling and positioning aren't quite spot on. But overall, he won't do you wrong. He is a one out of five boot rating, difficulty to sign. Most, team, most teams will be able to get it. Over on the right, we've got the Dutch Suriname legend that is Martin at Modicoro. You may need to write that down if you're going to try and sign him in your game, but a real defensive rock. 20 decisions is the real beauty of him. It's one of the most important defensive stats. Ahead of tackling, ahead of things like that head of marking which aren't great but with that 20 decision making he'll do you well and he's one out of five boots so you should be able to get him into the center of midfield uh, defense i think you know who i'm going to go to first one of the all out and out legends Terebo west just look at him if you're signing anyone on a free in this game it should probably be him one because of how good he is and two because he's only three boots out of five difficulty to sign. You can sign him in Division 1 in England as it's known on this. Offer him a little bit more than he's asking for and he'll come to you. A lot of good teams are in for him so it's not always straightforward but really good player. Will get into any team in the world and will come to most teams. To partner him, the Romanian Florin Batrinu. He's 30 so he's a bit older but a really good player. That 19 set piece is a nice little thing to have as well. You can chuck free kicks in for you. All round, a very solid player. Either footed, which I always like. And only one out of five difficulty to sign. Right, let's move to the midfield. This one's a, a blast from the past for any Premier League watcher. Jasper Blankfist. The famous ex-Man United winger. I've given him three boots out of five difficulty to sign. So you get quite a few decent teams in for him. But if you give it I'll give him the offer of first team football, he's very likely to join you and you won't go far wrong with him. Over on the right, we're gonna have Excuse me. Alonso Solis of Costa Rica. He's one I hadn't heard of until quite recently. But look at him. He's only 22. He's got flair and he's got pace. He's gonna inject a lot of excitement into any team particularly as he's only two boots out of five difficulty. Now into the centre. Another one we'd all be familiar with, even from real life, is Pep Guardiola. And look at that. What a player he is. 20 influence. He could be a skipper. He works with the team. Well, I don't need to... Basically, I could highlight all his stats. They're all very good. He's still only 30. Experienced Spaniard. Obviously, we know he's got a great footballing brain from his uh, management career. 
The only downside, I've given him four boots out of five difficulty to sign. A lot of good teams come in for him, but if you offer him first team football and you're in the top flight, he'll probably come to you seven or eight times out of ten. But you do need to be in the top flight. He's not one of these ones that's going to come to you when you're on your Millwall save. But still, a very nice, fine player. To partner him, not Wilson Palacios, but Roberto Palacios. Probably one of Peru's most capped players ever, <laughs> by the looks of him. Only 28. Nice all-rounder. And only two boots out of five difficulty to sign. One for One for any save. Right up front, who do we want? Another one that you'll have heard of, Kiko. Basically him, Guardiola and West are the big three in the free transfers at the start of the game. If you can get all of them, you're flying. The only downside to Kiko is five boots out of five difficulty. I always seem to have problems getting him to come. I'll offer him more than what he wants. He still ends up going to Villarreal, but that's fine, that's up to him. He's a great player. If you can get him, do make sure you do. And to partner him, we're going back to youth. We're going to Portugal again, and the 18-year-old Portuguese, João Pavea. That's my best guess at how I'd pronounce that. He's not walking into the first team in a lot of clubs yet, but he will in the lower leagues, because he's got the key striker stats. He can finish, and he's pacey. Relatively strong. At one boot out of five to sign, even if you're in the conference, if you sign him, if you say decent young player, he'll still come to you. He's one of the easiest players to sign on the game. Right, now we've covered our first 11. Let's have a look at the second string. So let's go back to goalie, Alejandro. He's a Spaniard, on a free at the start, 25 years old. There's plenty of improvement in him still. Even without that, solid enough to start with. I've given him two boots out of five difficulty to sign. He will come to the smaller clubs, but he will ask for a minimum fee release clause, which is quite low. So be aware of that. Try and up it up a bit so that you don't lose him for next to nothing. Right, our second string left back. Another young Portuguese is Hugo Valdir. Only 17. Not going to bowl into the uh, first team of, you know, the top clubs. But in a few years' time, he'll make it. He's a very good young player. And from Division 2 down, he's good enough to start. One boot out of five difficulty. Over on the right, we've got another young Spanish player this time. It's Victor. He may not look... Uh, Amazing stats-wise on paper, but if you look at his key defensive stats, apart from decision-making, which I picked up before, he can mark, he can tackle, he's got stamina, he's agile and aggressive for getting up and down those wings, a decent pace. So, with one boot out of five, if you're a lower league team, he's a nice one to have on board. Into the defence, the centre of defence, first up. Back to Spain again, there's a lot of, it's a recurring theme, Espin, a lovely little Spanish centre-back, improves, two boots out of five, difficulty to sign, again similar to the Alejandro, the goalkeeper, watch out for that minimum fee release clause, it will be quite low. To go with him, the Iberian Peninsula, bringing a lot of our players, but here he is, Held a Rosario, only 21, already pretty solid. Improves, one boot out of five to sign, you won't go far wrong with him. Right, midfield, on the left, the castle, Jai Fernando Castillo. He should really be in the first string, but forwards are a kind of tricky position. I don't really know what to do with them a lot of the time, so I've put him in the second string, but he's great. He's almost, after Kiko, after the big three I mentioned, He's probably one of the best players that you can sign on a free. I've given him three boots out of five for difficulty. He will negotiate with you as a... I've already made a bid because I was messing around before. But negotiate as a hot prospect. Don't offer him that. 
or else he'll go to somewhere that offers him football. So offer him a contract as a first team player or squad rotation if you want to get him. But if you do that, you should be fine. On the right, we've got future to, uh, future England international, not in real life on this, Mr. Byron Bubb, a lovely young player. Not ready for the first team in higher leagues at the minute, but within a couple of seasons he gets in. And if you sign him in a lower league team, he'll play really well for me from the off. Only one boot out of five, difficulty to sign. Into the centre. Back to Spain again. Augustin. Now he's a bit like Espin. His stats aren't exactly going to blow you away, but he's got that 19 creativity. And for some reason, he always plays really well. The pings passes all over the place. Even in the top flight, I've signed him. I've signed him quite a lot. I'm a big fan of his work. I've given him two boots out of five difficulty. Don't be uh, fooled by his stats. This is a player you should be signing. Finally, in the centre midfield, another young Brit, David Fox. Only 17. Already you can see he's got a lot of potential. He's brave. He's influential. If you uh, sign him up, put him in the reserves for a little while, give him game time. He comes good. He's a good one to pick up on a free and only one boot out of five. Although maybe it should be 1.5. He sometimes goes to slightly better teams. I bet there's someone interested in him already. A yeah, county already looking at him. That's 1.5 boots out of five. Right, up front. You'll know this fella. If you're a Premier League watcher, Daniel Amakachi. And he's pretty good. Very strong. He's just been released by Besiktas in this. And he's just waiting to be picked up. I've given him four boots out of five difficulty to sign. That's the only uh, downside to him. I'll show you even now. He'll want about 25k, will you? Sorry. He wants a lot of money. I think you can negotiate that down. But if any other people are going in for him, he might cause you problems. But definitely want to sign. And to partner him... I've gone for a striker, a young Brit again. I've got some forwards coming up later who you might be shouting at me, why haven't I chosen them yet? But I like to play strikers up front, other than Kiko, because he's so good. Daniel Nardilio, a lovely young British striker, English striker. Not ready for the first team yet, but at one boot out of five. If you're a lower league team, pick him up. If you're planning for the future, pick him up. Very good player. All right. So that's 22 players, that's two sets of 11. Now, let me just give you a couple more, well, three more, to get us up to 25. Firstly, the forward I was mentioning, there are two that if you play lower leagues, you've probably picked up. Butra, lovely Spaniard again, improves, gets loads of goals. It's that flair, I think, that does it. I'm not sure why he does, but he does. One boot out of five, but you'll pick him up in the conference. And his partner in crime, I always seem to sign these together. Adolfo, another Spaniard, a bit younger than uh, Butra. Probably not quite as good, but again gets bangings in loads of goals in the lower league. Last but not least, John Rankin. The young Scott. Got a lot of potential. Pretty decent to start with. Pick him up. One boot out of five. Butra and uh, Adolfo both one boot out of five as well. I can't do the video without mentioning Kieran Richardson as well. I know I've gone over my 25. And I've signed, well, I've signed him in <laughs> every video I've done. But he's superb. Pick him up. Right. Thanks for watching. If I've uh, missed anyone off, please let me know. If I've missed any of your favourites. If you're enjoying the videos and the content, then please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.